Hello, Scorpios. <clears throat> I've got the camera set up there in such a, or such an angle that you can see up here behind me. Um, it is the Holy Mother. It's the Virgin Mary. She is one of my own personal spirit guides. Um, some of you have been asking, what's the picture behind me? And I wanted to, uh, to uh, show you that. So, how are my Scorpios? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to YouTube. You know what? Thank you guys for... Uh, I'm going to start right off the get-go. You're seeing some smoke. It's not spirit. Sometimes in many of my uh, videos, you can see orbs and different things going on around me. That is plain old sage. I do have in the background the spirit box. Um, it has been quiet today. It is an app on my phone. The app is actually called Ghost Radar. Um, I like to leave it run sometimes when I'm doing readings. It will interject um, with words often throughout the reading. Um, today's reading is for Scorpio. How's all my Scorpios? All my hot-blooded Scorpios. It's that time of the year. Um... This is a light general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, take what resonates with you. Let the rest just go. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, stop back. Um, check your sun, your moon, your rising sign. None. Yep. If it doesn't resonate with none of that, um, stop back. Thank you, Spirit. Um, love it when they interject um, every time. And I always thank them. But check back and, like I said, your sun, your moon, your rising sign, um, and see if those don't fit better, or check for the updates. Um, if you're an aunt, an uncle, a mom, a dad, um, and you're wanting to, to look at somebody else's um, reading, somebody else's sign, you are a cross-watcher, and you're looking for somebody else's well-being, just trying to see what's going on in their life. If you are a past lover... An ex-spouse. Um, yeah, I refer to you as a crotch watcher. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> also, please drop down underneath. Like, hit that subscribe button, man. Smash that puppy for me. Um, and share these videos. Um, you know, sometimes they just touch the right person at the right time. You know, some days, man, they're just jumping out for you, Scorpio. Um, some days I think I have given the worst reading ever, and when I check back and read the comments or you send me messages, it's like that was the spot-on reading that meant something to somebody else. So, if that happens, let me know. Let me know. Keep me updated. Um, I am going to leave the cards out. In this case, um, I've got that feeling that I need to, and I always work with my intuition when I'm doing, um any kind of reading. I always ask for the highest and the best good to come through only from the greatest source, um, God source. And I thank he, she, they, them um, for everything. Amen. And I don't even get that technical most of the time. It is what it is. We have the Five of Cups, the Lover's Card. Man, it's been falling in the same spot for everybody um, today. The four, excuse me, the six of wands and the magician. Hang on, Scorpio. I am flipping up the cards. It, You know what? It, it's pretty trying time for everybody right now. And just by seeing how the cards are, are, are falling out, um, I can... I can just see that it's just, you know, everybody's feeling what's happen happening. Um astrologically you know when the, when the planets line up they have a lot of control and bearing over what we do it, it, it's a scientific proven fact you were taught this in science class as a kid that the moon affects the tide you know as the moon cycle changes the tides roll in the tides roll out the other planets absolutely control things too they control our personalities our attitudes um, are we angry? Are we happy in this period? Um, it controls, you know, the planets do control an awful lot. I'm going to finish laying these out while I'm yakking. Um, 
let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Scorpio, you got <laughs> you got a pile of shit headed your direction. <laughs> um, you know what? You know, if you don't like swearing, you don't like cussing, you don't like being somebody being down to earth. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it that way, but you know what? Um, I'm not your cup of tea. Okay, let's put it that way. So I kind of read it the way it is. You know, there is. This is one of the most dreaded cards in the entire tarot deck. It is the tower moment. It is when all hell lets loose. You can look and see what's going on there. There's people flying out of windows. There's explosions out of the roof. Lightning striking it. There's a storm hitting it with rain. Um, the tower moment is pretty pivotal. Scorpio, I can see you have dealt and in this case, I'm feeling this is a relationship reading. Sometimes they can predominantly be income. And there is a little bit mentioned here um, for you. Scorpio, you're a hard worker. I see you just busting your busting your ass trying to um, keep things going and hold together. You're um, very frugal in your money. You know, you like to watch it. Uh, you, you're perfect for investing too, right? Um, putting that money away and watching it grow. <clears throat> the five of cups. Let's see what's going on here. Um, man, you felt like you were betrayed. It is the uh, ten of swords card. You know, you you feel like somebody stabbed you in the back. Um, you know, there's. A little bit of upheaval that has been going on but I think that 10 tells me that you know usually when you get a 10 that's very the end of the cycle it's almost done um, and that's why the death card popped up the death card I don't know that I've ever done a reading in all my years that the death cards ever meant actually somebody dying it means just the end of a cycle and that's where you're at Scorpio you're ready to just say okay fresh start and that's exactly how I'm seeing it um, you've got the opportunity, an opportunity coming in with the um, Knight of Cups. He's coming in on a white horse. Um, you see him holding the opportunity out in front of him. That is the cup. You know, so things are things are going to get a little better. It's going to ease up. This energy that you're dealing with, Scorpio, is not going to stay as heavy as it was. Um, I, you're, you're the type of person, Scorpio, that you kind of help people out all the time. You know, there you are. Um, you've been generously helping other people out, and that's financially. That's just not with your your kindness and your, you know, your people always run to you with their problems. But, you know, you've been helping people out, and you notice he's holding the scale. This is going to kind of come back around to you, and you may see some money coming back that you helped somebody out with. Um, there it is. You're kind of looking at it. You know, you thought, well, I'll, I'm going to see if I can help this person out. And hopefully this money does kind of find its way back. But if it doesn't, it's okay too. Um, because there you are. You were working very hard for it. Um, I feel it is a relationship issues predominantly that are, are bogging you down Scorpio in this case we have a lover's card and you know that tells me that there was a an emotional bond with somebody that's already over you kind of um, already hung in there you've already cut the emotional ties um, there you are you cut the emotional ties with those swords that the five of swords you know the, you've got um, some battles already down and the easier parts starting to come it's ahead of you we have the king of cups you're going to get back into your own power scorpio you're going to come back into your own confidence you're going to regain who you were before all of this happened um we also have the uh, Two of Cups, which tells me there's going to be a new opportunity for you. That Lover's card um, may also, it, it can represent a situation you just got out of. And it also is representing, it's kind of piggybacking on this um, 
this tarot spread. And it also is representing the opportunity that's coming um, for somebody new to come into your life. I've got a feeling you're already, you already know this person. You may already be thinking about them. Um, you may already be trying to manifest them. But don't jump into a new relationship until you've done the work. Do the healing. And that's the, I'm big on the healing. Big, big, big on the healing. Um, and there it is. That's the Ace of Wands. That's the work that you've got to put forward in order to get yourself in a new place. If you're going into a new relationship with old heartache, you're going to resonate at that level and you're going to attract somebody exactly the same as you had before or somebody that's got the same heartaches. And you know, and while that's good to commiserate with somebody in the beginning of a relationship, it'll carry through. That's the, that's the vibe that you've started. That's the foundation you put under it. Um, and that's why, that's how that last relationship went to shit in a handbasket for you. Um, the tower moment came. You can't attract somebody with a bad vibe. That Ace of Wands is coming. It is um, predestined to happen. You know, it's your turn. Scorpio, you've, you've waited long and hard just to get things changed. It looks like you're stepping into a new phase in your life. That's why that Ten of Swords came up. Um, and things are going to turn around for you. Um, okay, Scorpio. You know, that's a light general reading if it resonates. Um, I hope it gives you a little bit of guidance on which way to go and which way you want to head. Um, you can follow me more over at Facebook. Get a hold of me. Uh, message me over there for availabilities and dates um, if you need to go want a little more in-depth reading and I can we can schedule a personal one but for now I'm gonna wrap that up and as I always say Scorpio to all my people I send you love and light until next we see each other